Folks, we back the hottest show in the streets. Coach Patrick Gale show episode 10. Guys, special guest for you today. Coach Gale's gonna recap uh this past weekend in South Carolina. Come up trip to Atlanta as well. Got game against Fort Valley this weekend. So we're gonna get all that Coach Gale and our special special guests on our show. And uh and I will be on the bench with Coach Gale. Because that's coach, that's a very hot topic. That's how you see. I'll be on the bench with Coach Gale. <laughs> He's in Atlanta since 29th and 31st. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're excited. We're excited, man. We're excited. We need we we our only road win this season has been at FAMU and it didn't count. So we need some road wins. We need some road wins. Yeah, but see, your road game is my home game. So it's awesome. So make it, we're gonna claim it now. Make it there all you work. go. There you go, Jr. There you go. There you go. Let me tell you. So we gonna have to. We gonna have to claim it because we are going against two of the best teams, in not only in the conference but in the country. So, but before that, we got to deal with our rival, who's gonna have everything uh, ready for us this week. So it's it's gonna be a tough couple of weeks for us. No doubt, and coach, I, I know it wasn't results you wanted, man. But man, look here, you guys had opportunity to be Benedict. Um, took one of the best teams in the SIAC East. Uh, then you played uh, Sean Walker's team, made a value come back against them, a uh, half that down two points after being down big in the first half. And so let's talk about the resilience of your young team. I know they're young and they make mistakes, but resilience-wise, uh, you know, especially it's, it's Allen and Sean Walker's team and they're going to dig uh, a tough place to play where they make a lot of shots. Uh, but they up, up on those guys as well. Well, it was, it was, it was, I was proud of my guys. It, obviously, it was tough. Um, we make a couple of free throws. We take care of the ball, uh, a couple of plays. We stay to the defensive assignment. We win that game against Benedict. And I think that carries over to Allen. But because we didn't, and because we lost that game to Benedict, um, you know, we were encouraged, but we were still a little down. And, you know, we got out to a five nothing lead against Allen. And then, just started making some really careless turnovers and it ballooned. But I remember saying on the bench to one of my players, I believe in you guys. And then at halftime, you know, I wasn't so nice in saying I believe, but the message was I believe. And in a eight minute stretch, we cut a 23 point lead down to two, which I was very excited about. And unfortunately turnovers got us at the end. So, you know, this week in practice, we, we did a lot of talking about, you know, not beating yourselves. And remember what I referenced, you know, earlier in the in the season, you know, you have to learn how to not lose games before you learn how to win games. And we're still obviously learning that on the road. The good thing is at home, we're figuring out ways to win games. So thank God we're at home this Saturday. No doubt, man. You playing a friend of mine, mine say is a former coach at you know, Mississippi Valley down there and doing and all coins or doing things down there and you teach Martin for a little while. Um, what are you seeing on film from Montez's Fort Valley team as you get ready had it working them down to the out great city of Auburn and Georgia this weekend? My Montez, you know, as you know, he's a great coach, runs a lot of stuff, um, does a great job in getting his athletes in positions to to finish, and he's got a really, really Really, really good point guard. Uh, Myson Lowe's really fast, really aggressive, and he's a kid that can get hot. And I'm expecting him to get hot against his rival. I'm expecting them to play well. I'm expecting them to get rest this week. I'm expecting them to be in the gym shooting. So we have to be ready for them to come at us. And we need a win. They need a win. So it's going to be two teams fighting and scratching. And it just happens to be the homecoming game, but it's going to be two teams fighting and scratching to get a win. No doubt. Well, Coach, we'll definitely be looking forward to that and claiming this for you as well. You know, he's my friend. We have a show here with, with partners here. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, we, we go to ramming it up over here, baby. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. It's all about the Ramley this weekend. You know, it, his homecoming is coming in February, but right now we got our homecoming. So, but, but we got to be ready to go. I mean, they're, you know, the, the funny thing is, I believe the last two seasons we've won on each other's home courts. So it's been the home team that has won on um, the last two seasons. So we we really, really need to get this win just because we got to stop the bleeding. And I know he's really trying to win because he's he's trying to stop the bleeding on his end. So it's going to be a great game. No doubt. And Coach, uh, 
Let us know about your special guest from New York that you have for us today on the show, man. So my my uh, special guest is uh, Latoya Shepard, and she runs her uh, own business, uh, Sashik. Um, I'm sorry she'll go into detail about what she does, but what's cool about what she does is she has developed a an organic spray to help with recovery for any athletes that you know maybe you know working really hard and i know i got some guys that are banged up that kind of needs recovery it's, it's organic it's natural um i believe the base of it is magnesium and that's one of the you know the elements that we need in our body so without further ado you know it's better that she speaks on her company and her product herself Hey, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Can you hear me? Co- we can hear you. We got you live on the radio. You're live on the Coach Gale show, episode 10. You're live <laughs> in living color. My way is going. Awesome. Well, my name is Latoya Shepard, and I want to let you guys know that this is, I've been asked four times to do something like this, and this is the first time I've said yes. So this is this is a milestone for me, all, you know. So um, my company is called Sashik LLC. Um, I've been in the medical field for over 22 years, so I've seen a lot of things in the medical field and my heart was pushing me to help be able to help people in a way that healed them naturally without, without side effects. So that's how Sashi, you know, you know, came to be. And, um, I have brothers that are in sports, you know, my, my, um, I'm the oldest out of four. I have three younger brothers. And um, one of my brothers used to pay for the Jets. And, you know, he would get injured and, you know, I felt bad. I was always trying to figure out how to how to help them. You know, he had injuries. My youngest brother, he plays basketball. He had injuries and I would just figure out how I could help them. And so when I learned about magnesium, I was like, this is perfect. You know, 80%, around 80% of, of people don't realize they have a magnesium deficiency. And a magnesium deficiency can cause all kinds of problems in the body, you know, from emotional wellness to the cramping, the the, the physical pain. And so it helps drastically. And I can say that we promote anything I don't use. So, and I love it. I love it. I, I, I went and go back on it. And so um, when did you find out that magnesium has such a great, Effect on athletes' bodies and bodies in general because I know that's something that interests me. Because a former athlete who have aches and pains still to this day, how can it help a guy like myself and a guy like who Co- Coach Gale coaching right now? Well, the um, so the magnesium spray is spray is transdermal, so it actually goes into the system immediately. It, it it goes through the skin. Normally, when you take supplements, it has to be absorbed through the body orally, and it takes you know some time. And you only absorb a may- maybe 60% of the supplement. But with this, you absorb all of it. It goes directly into the skin and it helps immediately on contact. So if you have a, a muscle cramp or any kind, it helps with pain also. So you spray it directly on there and you rub it and you feel the, you feel the, um, you know, you feel the change immediately. So it helps on contact. No doubt. It, 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 it's with your, with your spray, um, can it work? Uh, does does is there anybody where it can't use it? Like some some sprays where consult with your doctor. Because is it anyone can use it and it be okay for them to use it? Yeah, children can use it. You know, it's good for children. You know, hyperactive children, um, people that have children with ADHD, or even people with ADHD, they use this to calm them down. You know, um, this this really you i always say to consult your doctor regardless I always tell my clients to, to make sure your doctor's okay with you using it but it is natural there's nothing in here that you can't pronounce i am very i'm very funny about putting things in my products that you can you know what is exactly what's going into your body you know coach gail so Latoya, let me ask you this because uh-huh. I'm I'm glad you said that, uh, Jr. Is there any side effects? Can you were in the medical field? You said for 22 years. Can you talk about some of the things that people use every day? Deodorants, perfumes that are extremely toxic 
and kind of contrast it to your product that is all natural. And like when you said that we had a we have a magnesium deficiency, we also have a vitamin D deficiency that a lot of people don't realize. Can you mm -hmm. talk about the the contrast between what you're uh, offering and what people use every day and they don't even realize how toxic it is? Yes. Yeah, so deodorant, um, I'm really, oh, deodorant. A lot of people don't realize that deodorant, the, the things in certain deodorants can cause breast cancer. They can cause lumps and cysts and all, all those things, you know, and you think that you're just putting on something to help your body and, and you're really not because there's so many chemicals in there. So you have to be very careful what you put on your body. You know, I think people forget that your skin is an organ. And so it's the largest organ of the body is your skin. So you, you have to treat it with love. And um, the magnesium oil can also be used as a deodorant. There's several people that use it as a deodorant. You know, it combats odor. And so it's a safe, effective way to, to help with that. Um, and yeah, a lot of people don't realize that they're, they're deficient, you know, um, they're walking around with, you know, being irritable and anxious and frustrated. And my, my mother gets leg cramps all the time. Mommy, I'm sorry for saying that, but she gets leg cramps all the time. She complains about it. And I was, you know, I'm a fixer. I'm a healer. I'm, I tend to be a redirector. You know, I'm a motivator. So I'm like, Ma, okay, let's just figure this out because I'm tired of seeing you in pain and let's just let's figure it out, you know? And so she uses it and she's so happy with it. She can't, you know, she got tired of taking pills. She got tired of taking supplements. And so. Shout out to, shout out to Mama Jacqueline. She's a very gracious <laughs> angel on earth. Uh, don't, be you. Out, don't be putting out Ma Jacqueline like that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> She'll be okay. <laughs> she will be okay. But yeah, so yeah. I everything that I do, I do, I do from my heart. You know, I put I put my heart and soul into it because it's important to me. You know, it's important that, you know, if I can just help one person um be a better person or just help them heal, I'm I'm happy. And and that's my goal. And Latoya, I know we're down south here in Georgia. Um, it's a lot of problems breathing issues with allergies, asthma, uh, sinuses. Do you have any products to help with that? Because I know a lot of people suffer with with those issues, especially with the green. We go outside, your car turns green. <laughs> to go uh -huh. out of the so yes. you have to help help with those things as well. Well, it's funny you say that because I have um, something called colloidal silver. A lot of people aren't familiar with it, and, and some are. Um, colloidal silver is like a natural antiseptic. It's a natural all-around, you know, wellness healer. And um, there's some stigma behind it, which it's so, it's so bogus. Um, you know, it has, you know, there was a guy that used to drink a, a gallon of it to two gallons of it a day, and he turned blue. You know, anything, anything that you take excessively can be a bad thing. That's including the medication you put in your body that you get from your doctor and you don't second guess what your doctor's giving you. But those things have a lot of side effects and adverse effects, you know? And this is, that's very rare. So colloidal silver actually helps with, um, I've been taking, I have horrible allergies. My eyes used to swell up till I couldn't see. I didn't even have to take any medication for the past two seasons because I take this every day. My daughter takes it, it's natural. You spray it two times in your mouth or you can, it's oral or topical or, or both. You know, if you have a rash, um, I've had clients that have come to me, um, they were taking steroid medications and it wasn't helping. I sprayed that on their arm. They forgot they had a rash and they called me crying. It works. It works. It's like, I, I don't know why people fear natural. Because they're so, they're being conditioned. That's what I mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. you they're exactly conditioned right. to what you know. I'm not going. I'm, I'm gonna be nice, coach. They're conditioned <laughs> to what? Yeah, be certain, nice. <laughs> certain people and factors push upon thee mm -hmm. and say, "Do it my way," for their mm -hmm. own uh, yeah. Let's get gains. So, <laughs> yeah. coach, I did it good, coach. I I can't. Oh think Lord, good job, Jr. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I didn't go full the mode I could have went into. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Having restraint is the best, is the best, best filter. You know, the best thing you can do for yourself is, is restraint.
But nah, Latoya, there's just some good stuff. And also, um, with these, with these, what, what, what other uh, products you have for people who like breathing issue, like you said, for pain? What other natural things do you have people can take now that started to change for us? Maybe weight loss, diabetes, blood pressure within the black community. We know it's very rampant due to the foods we eat and the food deserts we have in our communities. But what do you have for those people as well? Well, I have recipes for smoothies. Um, food heals, you know. Um, if you eat properly, it can heal so much. And a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, oh, it's just a sandwich. It's, no, it's not. You know how much chemical that sandwich has inside of it? I am very funny about that. So um, there's actually a lot of things in my office that I do to help with stuff like that as far as... Um, steam therapy relief and you know um sauna sauna steam relief that that helps a lot you know um as far as things that they can like physically take that i have it would mainly be those two products you know um the other things would be recipes that i could give to them Latoya, them I, have to a, able, I have mm -hmm. a question so for for young athletes like what you know a lot of coaches that you know, are, are affiliated with myself and, and, and JR that are watching right now. What do you recommend as far as a holistic uh, plan to stay healthy, to stay um, not only healthy, but to continue to grow? Because a lot of athletes at the college level are still growing physically mm -hmm. and not just physically, um, emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, emotional intelligence is important in our business as well. What advice, if you can give any advice, if you can leave anything, any seed planted in someone's brain right now that's watching, what would you advise them to do when they're 18 to 24? Hmm. That's a good question. So what would I tell my boys is, is how I would say that to them because <laughs> I have fun. There you go. So I, you know, when I, what I tell them to do when they're going through their phases and, you know, they have had injuries also, I tell them that. First, you need to, you know, heal yourself emotionally. Emotional wellness, um, everything that we go through stems from emotional wellness. And I just tell my boys, you know, learn how to love yourself. Learn how to love yourself properly and everything else will fall into place. You know, that's, that's what I tell them all the time. Learn how to take care of yourself emotionally and then you'll understand what it is to truly take care of yourself physically. You know, because if you don't understand how to love yourself, then you won't understand what your body needs. You won't understand how to be connected to it. So that's what I would say. Awesome. No, no doubt. No doubt. I can see to see that right away, you know. And I feel like, you know, we need this stuff because, like your coach says, man, you got to be emotionally stable out here. And that's mm -hmm. the problem I see even the NBA guys are emotionally stable. They're making billions of dollars in the NFL, emotionally stable, you know, and then they make decisions very rational, irrational and emotional. And that's kind of them backfiring, you know, having that, you know, most intelligence, like Coach said, is very critical and key. And I don't yeah. think, unfortunately, that what we do is very little of it. You know, um, there's tools that they can actually take with them you know, medication is not always necessary. There's something called EFT, it's emotional freedom techniques, it's tapping. These are techniques that they can learn and when they are in stressful situations or they are feeling a little, you know, emotionally off or sad or anxious, these are things that they can do on their own to help bring them back into a relaxed state of mind, you know, and there's no medication included these are all they need is their finger in their body that's all they just tap the emotions out and they replace them with positive positive emotions and you know they feel better and you'll be amazed how something so simple can help so drastically no doubt hey coach everything else from toya coach I'm, I'm just blown away with the knowledge and um uh, as as latoya you were speaking i was actually thinking wow this is actually probably good for elementary school kids to to learn these techniques and to have this exposure early so that when they you know a lot of parents send their children to school to college away and all you can pray is that 
what you've taught them and what you've given them, the tools you, the resources you've given them emotionally, spiritually, they are utilizing when they're away and when they're, you know, in different companies and different crowds. So I think what you're, what you're, you know, giving out Latoya, not just in your product, but in your knowledge is, is well received. And I thank you for, for coming on and educating thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And, and Latoya, please show your products uh, for people. Uh, yes. Uh, then we'll let you tell everybody how to, how to find you as well on the social medias. Okay, so this is the magnesium spray. Can you see it? Yes, perfect. And this is the colloidal sulfur. I love that color. Look at that blue. Oh, yeah. I love that color. Thank you. And um, I could be contacted at sashik.com. That's S. S-A-S-H-I-Q dot com. Sounds good. Well, folks, that's... On Instagram, up. if you like that. So. Instagram. <laughs> what, about, what about the X's and the Facebooks, anything like that? Yeah, so it's just it's just Sashik LLC. If you type okay. in Sashik LLC, I'll pop right up on Sounds both good. Instagram and Facebook. Sounds good. Well, folks, this is episode 10 of Patrick Gale Show. We've been empowered, educated, and we'll see you again next week on the Patrick Gale Show live from Atlanta next week. We out.